Well, this is Bishop R.J. Edwards, and it's indeed a pleasure to be back with you on this radio station. I know that you're going through your tests and your trials at this time when COVID-19, the master plague, is on the land. I want you to know that God will lift you up, turn your life around. In spite of what we see, God is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Stay tuned as I go to church. We have been preaching the word of God. 2 Kings chapter 5, starting from verse 1. Now Naaman, who is the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, and honorable because of him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. He was a leper. Now, there are some truths that you will find in this word on today that I'd like to open your mind to. The story is a very profound one because it spoke of Naaman, but he had a problem. Some of you are in your home and you're having your beautiful television set. Some of you in your home and you're sleeping on your divan mattress. There are some of you who have water beds. Some of you room is so big that a hundred persons could sleep in there at one time and have good space. As some of you, you have food on your table. Some of you, you have little money in the bank. But amidst all of what you have, there is a major problem that you're faced with. Bible here says the captain of the host of the king of Syria captain man in charge of the army so the Bible here said he was faced with a serious condition the Lord would allow me to select this passage of scripture because there are some people who are having big positions but they are faced with a challenge. This man being the captain, he was faced with a very serious challenge. What was his challenge? This man was faced with leprosy. Now, for you to understand where I'm heading, I'll have to give you an explanation as to what leprosy is. It is said that leprosy is a contagious disease that affects the skin, mucus and membranes and nerves causing discoloration and lumps on the skin and in severe cases disfigurement and disformities. Leprosy is now mainly confined to tropical Africa and Asia. Secondly, it is said that it is a corruption or uh, decay. So with the lumps in the skin, it looks real bad. A lot of bumps on your skin. And it was not looking good. So the man was the captain of the Lord, the king of Syria. But he was suffering with a bad disease. I don't know who is here that is suffering in your house, 
you are not happy. The thing about leprosy, it looks disgraceful. You're not happy when you're wearing your clothes. I would imagine some people try to hide it, but everybody knows that you have leprosy. There are some people who are trying to hide their condition. Some people are trying to hide what's happening in their body because they don't want everybody to know that they're carrying a disease. I prayed for a lady and put the tent over in the lime tree. But before I went to the meeting, the Lord showed me as I went off into a trance, the Lord showed me a woman with a big sore on her foot. So I know that when God began to explain things to me and show me things, it's a reality. So I went to the meeting and I announced that there is a woman here with a sore on your foot. I said the sore is wrapped up. You don't like what's happening to you. So I stood there on the platform and people are looking at me like I have no sense. Sometimes these things do happen. People look at you when you prophesy. When you say something, they say, oh, where did you get that from? So the whole congregation looking at me now said, Bishop, what's happening? I said, there's a woman here with a sore on your foot. And I stood there for quite a long time telling the people, there's a woman here with a sore on your foot. And I said, can you get up and come? Nobody moves. Nobody moved. I said, there's a woman here with a sore on your foot. It's wrapped up with white cloth. It has a wrap, a bandage. And then all of a sudden, I saw a woman got up from way around the back. And she walked up to the top. Then when she walked up to the top, I looked down on her feet and I noticed that she was wearing a long skirt. I couldn't see her feet. She was wearing a long skirt. But I looked down there and I couldn't see anything. But not until when that woman lifted a section of her long skirt and showed me what's happening underneath. I said that this is God. Man, we prayed, we prayed. Stretch my hands to that woman's foot. Command that sword to dry up. By the next night, the woman came back and said, Sir, my foot is getting better. Before we get to the end of the week, the woman took off the wrap and came to church and shared her testimony. She said her husband had a problem with her coming into the bed at nights. He had to be using his foot to help her to get on. She said sometimes the taxi drivers have a big problem carrying her because every time she went into the taxi, people would talk about the stinking foot woman. But I looked at that woman and I noticed that she started to smile because the sore started to dry up. And not too long after the woman now comes to church and she didn't have to wear a long skirt. Neither does she have to wear a pants. Why? Because the word of God get to where the, the sore was and bring deliverance. Well, I got news for you. Not too long, she became a member of her choir. And she sang in the choir with her foot being healed. So there are people who will hide their circumstances because they don't want nobody to know. Hell broke out in the hole. But you put on a smile when you're coming in front of your neighbor. Hell breaking out. 
all around you. But you don't want to tell nobody nothing because you want to keep your private business to you. But if you understand the story, it was a helper that they brought, they call a handmaid, brought her from Israel. And she was now a helper in Naaman's house, helping out Naaman's wife. I want you to understand that this woman who was working with Naaman, she saw something and she hears something. You know, say God can use some simple people who can lay their hands on people and see deliverance, who can step out in the midst of their crisis and see God do something. Come on. I don't want you to take this simple today because I sense that God is going to do something in the midst. Somebody tell you to come out of a place down here, so, and you come. Somebody advise you and tell you, say, if you come to church, your life is going to be changed. Some of your advice that you receive is that the power of God is working. And they like to go to a church where the power of God is working. And the anointing is making a difference. I like that. So the woman just drop a word. I drop, she drop a word, you know. And somebody heard what she said. She said, I wish there was prophet over here. Because she knows that there are prophets in Israel. That if them cities are sitting here, they're going to bring deliverance and healing to it. And some Holy Ghost people in this church. To start look into some stuff that is bothering people. And start telling it like I'm telling it today that... The days that you keep holding on to that sister in trying to destroy her life, it is over. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's a bomb in Gilead. The God that I serve is about to bring deliverance. I don't know who I'm talking to that you came in here with a sword, physical sword. Maybe it's not a physical sword. But it's a spiritual sword. It's a spiritual sword. A sword that is in your life. Sword that is in your family. Sword that is smelling. If you need this message now, text me now at 378-0382. That's right. Text, not call. Text 378-0382. The mark of the beast is on us. I have the book that I'm promoting. The book that says, Say No to That Mark by Pastor Leighton D. Smith. Hear me. Every one of you need to get this book. Leighton Smith was a good friend of mine. And he wrote this book. Look at some of the other topics that are in the book. The emergence of the one world government. The European Union. Secret organizations promoting the new world order, the coming caste society, the century of the chip, the significance of numbers in the Bible. Don't compromise. Say No to the Mark book is now available at Source of Light, and that's at Hagley Park Plaza in Halfway Tree, or can be picked up at the Lighthouse Assembly Church Office, One Garbally Drive, Spanish Town. Just text the numbers 378. 0382. And we'll give you directions. God bless you. Some of you are so disgraced. You don't want nobody to know what's gone, but God pick it up. You don't want nobody to know what is happening to you, but Holy Ghost, I pick it up. Some of you come here under a disguise. People don't know what's happening to you, but Holy Ghost picked up. And God says you got to be delivered today. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder 
if somebody is understanding that the Holy Ghost is strong in this church, there's a strong anointing that is going through the seats in this church. Come on, Holy Ghost is under your seat. Holy Ghost is around your seat. And all you got to do is say, happy way. It's like a stench in your family because you pick them just turn back. You give others the sunshine. And you tell Jesus to rest. So your spouse in your house just get bad. You know, I want nobody to know. Still wear a married ring, but not now, God. You wear a married ring because you want to take the shame out of your face. Because people know say you're married. But your husband is in your house. But he's dead. That's what's happening to some women. They're wearing their married ring, but not now go on a house. And I'm talking to you, woman of dignity. You're highly respected. But you marry a man why not say one thing. I'm dead in every way. I have nothing. Can't help you. And you must not just keep the thing to yourself, you know. Because when you're going through something, I want to keep it to yourself. I want to mess it up on yourself. Because it start get into the head and start making the lose in the mind. Find somebody who you can talk to. Find somebody who you can relate to. Because I know a God who knows how to resurrect things. I don't care how dead he is. Some people don't know what's going on in the house, you know. People don't have no clue as to what go on a yard. The yard like happiness. And you never married for this. You look upon a situation. I'm seeing a situation right now. The man don't have no respect. Yet everything about him dead. Not a provider. You're not getting nothing from him. But I'm saying that God is here on today to bring back life. I like people come to church and talk the truth. Must talk the truth. So things now go on well or yard. And you need help. Even if you haven't put up your hand halfway. There was a woman in our church. And she had a problem with her husband. Everything was dead. Woman wanted a child, but everything dead. And so the Lord allowed me one day to be preaching in a Sunday morning service. Place was charged with the glory. I had some blocks on the platform. I was doing a week of meeting where I've been teaching about Jericho walls must fall. And at the last day, the last Sunday, the last day of the meeting, I said, no, it's time to drop the wall and show how wall can drop flat. So it was that the woman, after the anointing come into place, and we kicked on the wall on the platform. Woman start feeling all the ghost, and she jumped out of place. Until her slippers them drop off her feet. She was having a grand time in the presence of the Lord. But then all of a sudden, Miss Wen she leave the church quick. As the husband run to take up the slippers. And both of them leave the church quick. But not long after, the lady came back with the baby. And she took the mic and shared her testimony that that Sunday morning when I kicked down the Jericho wall, something gained life. So she said she did, and her husband leave church quick. Her life came back to the shop. I know a God who knows how to give life. He is the resurrection and the life. 
That's what the Bible say. I mean, I make it up, you know. He is the resurrection and the life. And I heard him say, though he may dead, though he, he shall live. I don't know who I'm talking to. There's a bomb in Gilead that can walk into any marriage. Husband asleep up at the bed top and the woman down asleep down on the bottom of the bed. I'm telling you, it's not of God. God can sleep in there and fix it. Children behaving bad and hell a broke out. No fighting, no fussing, no cussing. At the same time, no food in any of the house. I want God to do something. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this spirit of leprosy is a dangerous one because it doesn't mean for you and I that our skin has bumps, but it means hell broke out a yard. The spirit of darkness is raging, but the anointing today shall destroy the yoke and set the captives free. If you need this message now, text me now at 378-0382. That's right. Text, not call. Text 378-038. There are many people who have testified about the teachings of Bishop R.J. Edwards. They speak of how much his teachings has been a blessing to them. If you need this message in its entirety, text me, not call, please. Text me at 3780382. That's 3780382. It will be sent to you via WhatsApp at no cost or email us at lighthousechurch2016 at gmail.com. Just say, I need this message played on which date you've heard it and on which station. Join us for our power-packed fasting service every Wednesday at the train station in Spanish Town at 9 a.m. For our Sunday morning services, there will be three services at train station 7 a.m. and at Garbally Drive 9 a.m. and also 10 15 a.m. A blessing is awaiting you. The Lord is calling on His people to read His Word daily. Join with hundreds across Jamaica and around the world as we read the Bible together simultaneously on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube every morning starting at 5.30 Jamaica time. Then join us for daily prayers at 6 a.m. Join the Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry page on YouTube and on Facebook. You will be blessed. Text 876-862-1084 for more information. The mark of the beast is on us. I have the book that I'm promoting. The book that says, Say No to That Mark by Pastor Leighton D. Smith. Hear me. Every one of you need to get this book. Leighton Smith was a good friend of mine. And he wrote this book. Look at some of the other topics that are in the book. The emergence of the one world government. The European Union. Secret organizations promoting the new world order, the coming caste society, the century of the chip, the significance of numbers in the Bible. Don't compromise. Say No to the Mark book is now available at Source of Light, and that's at Hagley Park Plaza in Halfway Tree, or can be picked up at the Lighthouse Assembly Church Office, One Garbally Drive, Spanish Town. Just text the numbers 378. 0382 and we'll give you directions. God bless you. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards and I'm here to let you know that God is doing a new thing at our fasting and prayer service here in Spanish Town. Every Wednesday, the power of God in operation. Are you sick? Are you oppressed? Do you want God's deliverance? Are you hungering for a breakthrough in your life? I am inviting you 
to join us this Wednesday. Our fasting service at the train station commences at 9 a.m. Come to the last bus stop in Spanish Town. Ask for the train station. Come on in. Experience the raw glory of God. Join the praise and worship beginning at 9 o'clock and watch God deliver you. Please also note that you could go on Facebook every morning at 6 o'clock. I pray for people every morning 6 a.m. on Facebook. My Facebook page is Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. Bishop R-O-W-A-N Ministry. Come on out. Join me every morning 6 a.m. for prayer. When you do, God will deliver you. 6 a.m every morning on Facebook. God bless you. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards reminding you that every morning at 6 a.m. I am on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube. Come to my YouTube page at Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. That's Bishop R-O-W-A-N Ministry. Big things are happening in our prayer meeting. People from around the world come together every morning at 6 a.m. Please join me, YouTube. Facebook and Zoom. Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. Just go find that page now. R O W A N. Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry page. Please, I'm waiting to see you on one of these pages. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards saying goodbye. I'm checking out now.